Hello, Math 136 students. Uh, this is a video about simplifying rational expressions. Um, as you can see there at the top, I have defined what a rational expression is. It's a ratio of two polynomials. Um, really, it's, it's just like a fraction, um, but with polynomials. And in order to simplify these, we are going to need to have some good factoring skills. Um, so if you feel like your factoring skills are a little weak, um, I will encourage you to watch the factoring video that is also on the YouTube channel. Um, starting here with this first rational expression, um, first of all, I do want to point out that we cannot cancel terms. We can only cancel factors. So you might be tempted to say, oh, I have an X here and I have an X here. I'll just go ahead and cancel those. Well, we cannot cancel terms, only factors. So that means we're going to have to factor in order to be able to cancel factors. The numerator cannot be factored. Um, we're just going to leave it as X plus 5. But the trinomial in the denominator can be factored. Um, because my coefficient is um, my coefficient of x squared is 1. I'm going to look for two numbers that add to 4 and multiply to negative 5. And those numbers are positive 5 and negative 1. That means that the trinomial will factor as x plus 5 times the quantity x minus 1. I'm going to say it one more time. If you need factoring help, um, I know I went through that pretty quickly. There is a factoring video. Um, so I encourage you to watch the factoring video if you feel like I went too fast there. We have a common factor of x plus 5 in the numerator and denominator, and so therefore I'm going to cancel that common factor. Um, since uh, I have nothing left in the numerator, I have a 1 there. Um, and uh, in the denominator, we have x minus 1. So this is our final answer. There's nothing more I can do to simplify that. Um, I can't cancel the ones. Um, that would be canceling terms, not factors. Um, so I am done. My answer is 1 over x minus 1. OK, let's look at this second one here. We've got a couple of trinomials. Um, unfortunately, the coefficients of y squared, um, they're not 1. And so I'm going to use the AC method to factor them. And so starting with the numerator, a times c is 15. I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to 15 and add to negative 8. Those two numbers are negative 5 and negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite the trinomial in the numerator like this. So I'm replacing the negative 8y with negative 3y minus 5y, which is an equivalent substitution. This now allows me to factor by grouping. So I can uh, factor out a GCF of 3y from the first two terms, and I can factor out a GCF of negative 5 from terms 3 and 4. Now notice that I, I did have a, a positive 5, but when I factor a negative 5 from a positive 5, it does change it to minus 1. Therefore, my numerator can be factored as 3y minus 5 times the quantity y minus 1. Okay, I'll say it one more time. If that was pretty fast for you with the factoring, there is another factoring video. So this, this video um, covers simplifying rational expressions. There's a lot of factoring involved, but if you need more factoring help, please watch that other video. Um, as for the denominator, sometimes we can... Uh, I don't want to call it cheat because it's not cheating, but um, we can use our resources wisely here, I guess, um, to help us to factor the denominator. I'm going to guess that 
since the numerator has a factor of 3y minus 5, I'm going to guess that maybe the denominator has that factor as well because I noticed that it has the same leading coefficient as the numerator. If 3y minus 5 is one factor, if it's going to be, then the other factor would have to be y plus 2. And I can tell that pretty quickly because I noticed that um, this here, this 3y, the only way to get a 3y squared would be to multiply it by y. I also noticed that my last term here is a negative 10. So I thought, well, what can I multiply negative 5 by to get negative 10? It would be a positive 2. So I'm going to do a, a quick check to see if um, I factored this correctly. So I'm going to FOIL, and I'm going to see if I get 3y squared plus y minus 10. So FOILing gives me this, and combining like terms in the middle here, um, I do have the denominator. So I have correctly factored that denominator there. Now you could also use the AC method again if you would like, and that would work just fine. Okay, I noticed that I have a common factor in the numerator and denominator, that 3y minus 5. And so I'm going to cancel that common factor. And now I have my answer of y minus 1 over y plus 2. Do not cancel the y's. They're terms, not factors, of the numerator and denominator. And so um, this would be my final answer there. Nothing more to do there. Okay, I've got one more problem in this video, and of course we're going to factor again. Now we haven't seen any yet where we can pull out a GCF. Um, that's what we're going to want to start with for number three. So in the numerator, I noticed that the two terms have a GCF of three. The denominator, the two terms in the denominator, oops, not four, sorry, six, um, those have a common factor of six, and so I'm going to pull a six out, and I'm left with x minus four. Now, um, the numerator can be factored further. Uh, x squared minus 16, you may recognize that as a difference of squares. And so we can factor that as x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 4. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy my denominator. Now, just as we've done in the first two examples, um, we're going to uh, cancel any common factors in the numerator and denominator. I see the numerator has a factor of x plus 4, and so, or sorry, x minus 4, and so does the denominator. So I'm going to cancel those. I can also reduce um, the 3 and the 6. Um, 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3. So I'm going to divide 3 by 3 to get 1, and I'm also going to divide 6 by 3 to get 2. So my final answer for this problem is x plus 4 over 2. Okay, one more time here. Do not cancel the 4 and the 2. Cannot be done. We can only cancel factors, not terms. All right, well, that is it for this video. Um, there are quite a few other rational expression videos. Um, so if you still need some help with rational expressions, uh, keep watching.